Um, so let's start at the beginning. Fours are usually a little, little calm. I mean, fives are usually a little complex. They're right in the middle of the journey of the situation. And this usually is where misunderstandings, kind of bickering happens, um, just kind of going around and around verbally and not really being able to resolve much. It also can stand for um, uncomfortable uh, attention. You know, you, you may be a married woman and, and getting flirted with all the time uncomfortably. That's the kind of scenario I'm talking about. For the most part, it does feel like bickering for you, Virgo. It does feel like disagreements. And it is feeling like the interpersonal or the family legacy um, can be for work for many of you. But for the most part, it's feeling very family legacy, that there's a misunderstanding. This side of the family is on one side of the agreement. This one's on the other. And there's kind of bickering. Um, this is the card. It's a fearful card. It, it can't stand for gossip. It can't stand for theft. It can't stand for actually physical theft. So um, some of you may have had something stolen. It can also be your heart stolen, disappointment, and gossip. So it is covering this. So it does feel like the root of whatever this disagreement is, um, either theft, lying, abandonment, something on the negative fear sign. The Wheel of Fortune is above you, so not all is lost, Virgo. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of luck. It brings you what you put into it. Um, and if you trust and trust and have faith, faith in the journey, it's a little kinder to you. And, you know, as long as you are in integrity with your words and actions, the Wheel of Fortune usually pays off in the positive. But it can swing to the negative if you engage in all this negative stuff and perpetuate some of the miscommunication that wheel of fortune it can equalize that as well so keep it positive keep it real speak from the heart with love and, and kindness and it does look like your uh, the wheel of fortune will be lucky for you uh, the king of swords is here and he is one of great in integrity, a man of great integrity, man or woman, I'm sorry, man or woman. Usually it's someone that is older than 40 or someone has great wisdom that speaks their truth, that is in great integrity. And it's usually an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And I'm feeling like this is someone that you have either asked advice for or you've gone into uh, business with, but there is some agreement. It is right here. So make sure that your words are very clear. So this misunderstanding may have started with this person that you're either collaborating with or being in agreement, uh, but it does look like some kind of partnership. It does not feel like a lover. Uh, it does feel like a business or friend, but it's some something that has gone awry with the two of you. There was some miscommunication. It doesn't look like it's a problem to clean it up, but it does require some, some more communication and sitting down and really hashing it out. But it does feel like something was presented to you that was either manipulative or dishonest. And so that challenge has happened with this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And kings can be someone over 40 um, or under 40 if they uh, just have great wisdom. But it's usually someone who has great life experience and um, speaks with love and kindness, although their words can be very sharp. Um, and it does feel like someone who's very heady, but it, it, it does feel like something that a decision that was made that was not at your, in your best interest. So you may have to rectify that before moving forward. The page of um, swords here can stand for children or messages. It really feels much more like messages. This can be news of a problem or difficulty. This also can be um, trouble or, or news about relating to a young person that is in trouble as well. Usually the swords and the page of swords are um, a little bit more on the fear spectrum than on the love spectrum. So it's some wrong that needs to be righted, but it's usually in the form of a message and um, can be a bit of a challenge. But it's news of problems or difficulties, and it is around this situation, Virgo. Uh, the next one that's coming up is the Three of Cups, and this is a great 
uh, card. This is one of rejoicing, celebration, jubilation. It's reconnecting with friends, can be friends from the past, but it's people that, you know, truly have your back, truly have your heart, and that you feel completely um, comfortable with. That's the, it, it flows very easily, but it does look like uh, you haven't really been connecting with folks um, just for you that, you know, kind of feed your soul. It does look like you've been problem solving for a number of months. So you may have to step out of that and enjoy yourself. Let your hair down a little bit, Virgo. Reconnect with your gal pals or your, your buddies and go have an evening with no more worries or, and no more tumultuous stuff. But it does look like um, that you will be able to step out of this for a while and enjoy yourself. Find your smile a little bit again. The King of Pentacles is here. I do feel this is you. Um, even if you are not in a male earth suit, um, it can be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But for the most part, it, I think it, it represents you uh, being regal and noble. And I, I know you guys are the humanitarians in the Zodiac, uh, but sometimes you have to gift yourself. So it does uh, dictate that you speak from the heart. It does feel like the material goods are coming together a little bit. So you may be juggling your money, you know, borrowing from this one or closing a 401k um, or starting a 401k, but it does look like there is focus on redistributing money somehow, either saving, you may have gotten a raise, uh, you may have retired, but there is some uh, difference in your material, uh, uh, material uh, monies and material things. So it does look like organizing, prioritizing, and uh, kind of redeveloping uh, new courses with either retirement, saving, something like that. Or you may have borrowed to start something new as well or buy a house. So the four is here. The four of um, cups is here and cups are emotions. It does feel like you are disappointed in something um, that it does look like a number of things that you kind of relied on or that you were hoping to or had expectations about did not come through and you're a bit disappointed. But you know, there's the this little hand of God right here going, hey, hey, pay attention. These didn't work out. So this one can. So don't be in the disappointment. Well, I don't I say don't um, be aware that being in the disappointment um, arena is only temporary that this is getting moved out to bring you something is much more in line with positive growth and your happiness for the future so even though this part is really disappointing whatever it is it didn't work out or the agreement that was not honest um, something is just waiting for you to pay attention to it and it is much more advantageous and and fruitful for you in the long run. The Knight of Cups is here, and I do feel that this is a person. Um, knights usually are someone under 30. It can be a male or a female. Cups depict water sign. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it does look like um, that it does involve a water sign. And that does look like you need to have a one-on-one, -on -one, some clear communication with this water sign. Let some bygones be, be bygones. Let it go. It feels like more on the interpersonal level. This could be a sibling. This could be um, a friend, a son. A uh, stepson, something like that, but it does feel like some clear communication. It does feel like they had a hand in the miscommunication of this, so they must be included with the resolution as well to make sure everybody's on the same play page, whether you're releasing it, resolving it, creating a new. Um, but it does feel like it has to do with this King of Swords as well, that they are connected with this King of Swords. The culmination card here is the seven of wands. And, the, and this kind of depicts you hanging or being pushed in a direction that you feel very uncomfortable in. That you're, you're fighting the good battle and it feels like you're all alone in your opinion of this. And it almost like an attacking. Um, this is also, it's an opportunity for you to speak your truth. Um, sometimes you may hang, hang back and not speak your truth and see how it unfolds, but this requires your full attention. It requires you to speak your truth 
in order to grow past this. But it does feel like you're cornered a little bit. Um, so make sure that when you do speak, it's in love and kindness. And you may have to step away from it for a moment, but it does feel like you're crossing a bridge between maybe even these two people that you're kind of stuck in the middle of something that you did not create. So um, it may be a good time to extricate yourself or to back out a little bit until it's clear to see which direction um, you should continue the battle. So one side of this is the eight of uh, pentacles. This is gathering information. It may be going back to school. It may be really honing in on your own skills. It may be a hobby that you have kind of let go for a while and you pick up again, but it is gaining knowledge um, and it also can be collecting material things. Um, you might be building something new and that you have to collect things or collect people, collect ideas, but it does look like you're in fact uh, gathering mode and that you are increasing on your own skills and your abilities are just fine tuning your own skills a bit. Um, for many of you, it, can be, it also can be going back to school. Um, in general, it doesn't feel like that, but it can be for many of you going back to school, gleaning information from, from a source. The High Priestess is here, and she reminds us that we are all um, uh, spirits of the great universe in the, in the universal picture and the universal energy. She also helps us find our balance. So you may have decided to you know join a meditation group or a yoga group or even reading a self-help books. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, God stuff. It can mean wandering back into, into church. But for the most part, the high priestess is finding your own balance within, um, getting your answers from within and trusting your own instinct, your own intuition. And maybe even your psychic awareness has peaked a little bit um, during all this process. So that is your general reading, Virgo, for the month of October. Let me throw a couple of these clarity cards. These are wonderful chakra cards. They're one, one word cards, but they really bring it on home with that one word. Um, so, come on. Doesn't want to give up the ghost. Oh, okay. There we go. Bittersweet. So these changes, it does feel is bittersweet, but something better is, is waiting right around the corner. So it does look like you have been disappointed and there is some sadness in these changes or the tumultuousness of the communication. It is bittersweet because it does look like your point was taken, but it doesn't feel like there's any winners in this uh, situation. So you may have to back out. That's quite a lot. Let's take the top one recovery. So it does feel, you know, and this can be recovery from drug and alcohol. It can be a physical recovery from a car accident, or it just could be recovering from the way that you used to do things or this tumultuousness. You may have to pull yourself out. It does feel like it was very disappointing. It kind of jacked up your expectations and kind of reeled a little bit. So you may have to take some time to uh, be a little solitary, pull yourself back and recover from uh, the information or the intensity of, of the situation. <laughs> 